Hey, hello peeps. Right, I want to look at us as individuals and the word and how we can find polarity in this dualistic realm. So if you're ready, right, in divide really means that we're in a physical realm and our other half is in a metaphysical realm. Like as above, so below. This is how I see it. And with the, the dual side of it is like the male and female. We've got that energy of both within us. It's like the red and blue, the blue shift. And there's a negative energy and a positive energy. So this is a dualistic realm we're in, hence we're the same. And we want to find polarity, which is then, we're not getting pulled onto either side of the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the negative, the positive, you know, judging this, judging that. You learn to say, stand alone as an individual. And for us to maybe get there, I'll see it as like, when you're in the present, you're in the moment, and that's where you can find your polarity within yourself. Because we need to learn to get into polarity away from this duality within us is by not having no triggers. And that's relating to the chakra system, these triggers, you know. People can trigger you with your beliefs or your knowings by questioning them. Are they true? You know, or um, they're asking you to judge something for them. You know, asking you a question you to judge it you know all these sort of things can say trigger you you've got to learn to stick with your own knowing and your beliefs and if anyone wants to question them it's absolutely fine and you're not to be triggered by it they don't have to believe in what you believe in and vice versa you don't want to make them believe what you believe in like I'm doing now, this is just my interpretation of us as individuals and the energies we're working with. Because I feel a lot of it is acceptance. We can find acceptance to ourselves. Then we can find polarity with ourselves. You know, because that's how I see it. I see that we have to focus on ourselves and then in that reflection time, we can see what our words have been, where our thoughts have been, and also our actions. So it's really, it's like a self-observation to see if you are being triggered or accepting the negative, let's say. You know, in your life right now, you might be having times where, if you will, they're not that great, and then you will have times when they were great, you know, but you've got to have both in this dual realm, really, or accept both, because really, we want to feel things, and how do you feel things, sometimes in adversity, you know, what's that feel like to have, say, have no food, go without food, you can't afford the food, look at the energy towards that, what's that feel like? You know, that's what we're looking for is the subtle feelings of that energy. You know, what that's doing for you. And if you're being pulled here or there and everywhere by other people trying to shift your focus away from yourself, then you will get caught up in the duality of things. Hence, a lower vibration and maybe not so happy. So if you can try and, you know, focus on self, keep your intentions on self, because we can move into the in part of the divide and the duality of this. So we know we're in divide, mother, father, you know, male, female, as above, so below, like with the chakra system. I just draw these lines for fun, really. But that's how I see the above. And this is how I see the below. 
this is the physical realm, this is the metaphysical realm, and this is our higher self, and this is us, us now. So <clears throat> we can't refrain from evil, we want to be in our heart space. So then we're sort of polarizing each side with the heart. We work from the heart and we can make the cross from the heart. Because energy is momentum in the moment. We can get some energy in the moment. So, and it's always in. This is the in bit. Right, let's look at in. I had, I had this ready sort of thing. I didn't write anything. <laughs> but this is how I see it. You're going in, then we'd be having, say, insight. The insight is the reflection, the observation on your intentions. So you'll know whether these are real intentions or not and where they're coming from. You focus on yourself because tension is energy. It's the driving force. See, because you can have attention as well. What, you, what you're putting your focus on is your attention. So there's energy again. Focus in your energy. And if you do, if you go within, you will have your inner voice. That's the intuition from the sacral chakra. You can even have your inner child can come out. You hear that reflect, um, said a bit. And also, this is the big one. If you're going within, where are you getting your tuition from? Intuition. Getting it from self. Then, if you want to stand there, you want to stand in, yes? Then you'll have inner stand in. And if you are in, that's, where, that's what you're with. You're within. See, I feel to find polarity, you go within, to check in on self, where your attentions are and intentions are in your words, your thoughts, your actions, you know, and then you're looking at your triggers and you're accepting things the way they are. So if you, because really there's no right or wrong, it is what it is. You know, you get to that stage. So then you're okay with other people's opinions, thoughts, beliefs towards you, yourself, because you know thyself from going within. And from that space, you definitely raise your vibration. It's such a happy place to be. That's where your passion is, you know. And you can go with that. Just go with your passion. My passion is getting creative. Hence why I'll get creative from all my videos and, and draw things and write things. You know, that's just me. But, you know, I'm just trying to share with you how I see the individual nature of ourselves. See, the individual nature of us, we're in divide, we're in duality as well, which is absolutely fine. We just need to know it. And when we know it, we get to know ourselves. And then with that knowledge and that intuition, we can work from that space. It's a better space to be in. You know, because I've done a video on the serpent energy. That's what I feel we are. When we're in the present, we're holding on the serpent energy. And that's where the repent comes in because you're recycling the energy. You know, that serpent energy over and over, shedding your skin. You know, updating your version. You know, coming to that proper individual. Are you really individual? Or are you like everyone else? So with that said, I am like 11, 11 goat. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that bell. And as always, I love you all.